Hello, today I am going to show you how to install Nextcloud on your Android system. So Nextcloud is a cloud application where you can convert your Android server onto a remote accessible cloud server. So by doing so you should be able to upload files, any documents or any sort of thing from another network as you want, whenever you want. So to do that, first of all what we are going to do is we need to create a share folder for the Nextcloud shares to be created. So I'm going to my shares folder. Within that I'm going to click add shares and I'm going to create the share which is named as Nextcloud. And uh, if you have a cache drive it is better to select yes. In my case I'm not going to select cache drive because uh, I'm not very much needed that one but it's recommended uh, and it's it's a best solution if you have a cache drive and uh, if you select yes in uh, your situation so I'm not going to do that in my one but in yours you should definitely do it uh, if you are going to plan to use this for a long term use so after selecting yes or no from for the cache drive click add share and uh, here you don't need to give any permissions but for your personal preferences it's better to give permissions uh, where you are the only person or the administrative user that is able to access the user shares or else other users also might be able to access the shares uh, which are uh, not uh, recommended so better to give permissions in my case I'm not give any uh, I'm just going to click done and it is not a must to give the permissions because it is not direct it is not uh, required for the next cloud service to have that so just create the share folder after creating that let's go to the apps tab where we are going to install a database called MariaDB so the uh, MariaDB installation is for the uh, database part of the next cloud where when we create users all the user usernames and the passwords will be saved so it, those files will be saved on the uh, MariaDB database so I'm going to search for MariaDB on my apps tab and as you can see I found it in that I'm going to install the Linux server version for MariaDB within that this is the default port of MariaDB we are not going to change that one here I'm going to give the password for my database as my password okay I'm going to leave it as my password uh, and click apply After the installation of MariaDB is done, press done button and you will be taken back to the community apps tab. Uh, after that, go back to your Docker tab and here you should be able to see the MariaDB database is running fine. Uh, now what we need to do is we need to create the database uh, for uh, tables for the next cloud to use. So I'm going to click on the MariaDB icon and click on console. As you can see, we don't have a web GUI to uh, configure the table so we are going to use the command line to do that so I'm going to click console so I, I am taken to the MariaDB's uh, command line interface I'm going to copy these commands I use these commands to create it first of all we need to log in onto the SQL server so I'm going to copy this one where I'm going to log in as root I'm going to press enter so here they are asking my password so the password will be the database password that we just gave before we install MariaDB so I'm logged into my server and now we need to create a user account for the database to use uh, so I'm going to create the database user as nextcloud and the password for that user will be my password as well so I'm going to copy this command paste it here so the query is ok and I'm going to create a database table which is named as nextcloud as well copying this one paste in it okay that's done also now I'm going to create uh, where the database table that we just created which is named as next cloud uh, for be uh, so that the user that we just created uh, to be able to access that the database cloud so here yeah, all the privileges for the next cloud table is provided to be able to access by the next cloud user which is under the password my password okay that's all so as you can as you can see and 
for we first created the user which is named as nextcloud with the password my password and a table which is named as nextcloud as well and we gave privileges for that database table for the user which is named as nextcloud okay so this is our database table and this is our database user and the password for the database user okay after those are done exit from the console of mariadb and that's all now what we are, what we need to do is we need to install nextcloud so go back to your community apps tab search for nextcloud so i'm going to install linux server version so here we need to change the port number because the default port is used by the unread server so i'm going to change it to 444 uh, or error you can change it to whatever you want but i'm here in this case i'm going to change it to 444 uh, and here i'm going to give the data path um, by selecting the share folder which i just created which is named as nextcloud okay that's all click apply after the installation is done of nextcloud click done now go back to your docker tab to uh, configure nextcloud server so as you can see the nextcloud server is running perfectly click on the icon and click on web ui so it might take some time to the server to start up just refresh and see so you get this interface click on the advanced button and click on proceed anyway so as you can see we got the interface of the nextcloud server so here I'm going to enter uh, create a username for the Nextcloud server login. I'm going to create it as uh, kp11 and the password for that user will be uh, something like capital ZXCV, simple ZXCV and number one. And the data path for the uh, Nextcloud server will be slash data because if we go back and see in our configuration of the Nextcloud Docker, and the container path is slash data so this will use the share folder that we just created okay then we won't change that here we need to select mariadb as our database so the user will be nextcloud okay and the database password will be my password database name will be nextcloud and the ip address of uh, or the database uh, location will be my server which is the my android server and the port number uh, of the mariadb database so the port number of mariadb database is 3306 so i'm going to enter it here and that's all uh, just verify everything and press finish So as you can see we have just logged in onto the nextcloud interface so from this interface if we just click next we can see all the options that we have and the interface we have android application as well as uh, uh, apple application uh, for you to use on your mobile devices and those are the things so if you close this you, you can see we have all the folders and here we can upload files new folders can be created if you go here you can create new users uh, and say if you need to uh, customize your interface you can just do that and all of the things can be done you can share documents and everything but the problem in sharing is that you need to uh, configure some advanced features within uh, your routers uh, routers and your internet connection to be able to access it, access this from another um, connection so in my next video i will be showing you how to do that so be stay tuned to uh, watch that uh, part of the next cloud uh, videos uh, so you should be able to by watching that video you should be able to uh, configure your server to make uh, make it available from other networks as well so that's all in configuring and installing nextcloud on your unread server so thank you guys for watching and i would like to have a subscribe and share this video and like uh, you guys so so it, it will be a great helpful for me and uh, thank you guys again 
and have a nice day thank you